Real really cozy. cozy. Yeah. This is good. Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, go <laughs> um, do you want to do the introduction? I can, I can do it. Okay. You can, you you can, can start. It. Hello, everybody. Yeah. This is Aiden. Yeah. This is Samuel. Cool. We're the uh, directors mm-hmm. and stars of the, our short film, I guess. The creative team behind. Thank you. Yeah. Closer than appeared. Yeah. 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 The, thank you. You're welcome. You're so good at enlightening what I said. <laughs> <laughs> the creative team behind Closer Than Appear. We're both the writers, producers, mm-hmm. actors, directors, executive producers, yep. lighting crew, yep. stuntmen. Yep. Sound designers, editors, all, all the list, of it. The list yeah. goes on, actually. It's it very accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're just here to talk about uh, our thought process that went into making the movie, mm-hmm. what we were thinking beforehand, what we were thinking during and uh, our thought process afterward during editing as well. Mm-hmm. So, um, do you want to do you want to get get us started? Just explaining yeah. what we were uh, the concept behind it, what we were yeah. going for. For sure. Um, honestly, it was kind of a cool experience because we didn't really have a whole lot of thought going into it. We knew that we wanted to make a short film, and we had a couple of hours that we had, we had set aside um, in the day that we <laughs> we wanted to shoot the short film. Um, Locations were limited as well, so it happened to end up at my house, um, and then from there it ended up in my room, <laughs> which was which was fun, because um, yeah. we didn't have to do a whole lot of searching. Uh, that also meant that we had a very limited um, kind of a series of options of what we could do with with the actual film itself, right? So um, we kind of just got started, started thinking about different themes, some different. Ideas. I think it actually started when we said that we wanted to do something with the mirror, right? Yeah, yeah. That was the because um, it was we had kind of talked about that in pre-planning, but we mm. didn't really we weren't sure what was going to happen. Um, and then I got here, and there was a like a, a three-quarter length mirror, yeah. just leaning up against the wall. And we were like, well, let's absolutely use it. Let's do it. So. And by pre-planning, we mean like the two text messages before that was like... We had like a five-minute call. <laughs> we, were like, oh, yeah, that's right. we were like, let's make it dark. And they were like, right. cool. <laughs> like, my room's dark. Yeah. Oh, let's do it let's there. Do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, Wonderful. Yeah. That was that was basically all the pre-planning we had. Um, yeah. So let's, uh, let's start it off with our wonderful logo. I still think it's absolutely genius. So here. Oh yeah. <laughs> you want to start with this one? Well, it was your idea. This so. was my idea, and I regretted it very quickly. There's a couple of geometrical things that were curious because my my room, <laughs> <laughs> my bed is up against the wall, and my my wall is like my ceiling's like this. Yeah, it's like a. And my bed is right here. <laughs> so, so to get the shot, I had to stand over him, um, <laughs> and like lean over because the. Ceiling. The ceiling was like this, and I'm this. It's basically that far. <laughs> That's a yeah. terrible <laughs> sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was bending over, just like holding my camera. Yeah. My back was hurting. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, it was a pretty kind of awkward shot. I stabilized it in post right. a little bit. Um, it was also way too dark. We I should have um, put on some lighting. Put a little bit more light. There wasn't a whole lot of options. Though. I will say that the, the mm-hmm. lighting options were difficult because. Um, the way the room was shaped, we couldn't we couldn't fit things consistently. Yep. Because um, you know, with with as close as the ceilings we had, the the light bounced very specifically all the time. So we had to kind of kind of pick our battles when it came to lighting in two hours. <laughs> we had we had one practical light and we had one um, non practical light. Right. The the lamp that you'll see later on motivated most of the lighting, and that was most of the lighting for the whole the whole short. And then we had another. Really small um, LED light that we're using right now. That hey, was uh, shout out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> shout out the light. <laughs> that yeah. was just over in the corner lighting up. So right. Kind of limited on what we could do, but we I think we made it work. So he wakes up, and then it's this. And we really wanted an isolating frame that made him feel small, mm-hmm. which was hard to do in such a small space. Right. So anyway. I, and I think that really I mean. Again, there's very little writing in, that went into this, but I think that went into a lot of how I physically acted, which kind of like the hunching, the the looking down. I think that was a lot of what we, I say a lot of what, when we talked about it, that's what we kind yeah. of decided about. We were going for very kind of 
synthetic beaten mm. down, um, and you'll see that later on. Right. It was fun to act, kind of. I'm sure it was. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was fun to fun to direct. Right. Too, yeah. I was like a. <laughs> like being uh, basically, you did your thing, I did my right. thing, and it came together well. That's true. So, That's very true. Yeah, there was there wasn't really much directing that I did. If if any, I was like, just do that one more time, but right. a little better. Um, and I, I provided nothing when it came to any of the cinematography or all. That's not, that's not quite true. There were, there were, like, this shot, you were like, I want to have, I'd like it to, uh, there to be a wider shot. And I was like, well, this is as wide as we can go. Yeah, okay. um, but yeah, but there, were, there were some... some it was collaborative. Let's yeah, just it was, say it. It was it collaborative. Was collaborative. Yeah, okay. Deeply collaborative. Mm, I like, I like this shot yeah. a lot. Um, in a lot of my work, especially moving forward, I'm, I'm influenced a lot by filmmakers like Denis Villeneuve. Mm -hmm. um, this frame, to me, has a lot of Denis Villeneuve energy. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. yeah, especially like he likes to do the the severe dichotomy of like you have the mm -hmm. very dark side of the, the face and then you know kind of the single unseen. source lighting. Kind yeah, of things. yeah. I think it's really good. <laughs> yeah, this was this was a this was extremely difficult. Um, right, actually, it was yeah. Until we figured once we figured out what to do, then it was pretty pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, that was one of the set members. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so yeah, we were we were trying to figure out how to work with the mirror because I wanted it to be an over the shoulder shot, but so thin. Yeah, it's such, it a, it's such a thin mirror. mirror. And, and to get an over-the-shoulder shot, I would have been in the reflection. Mm -hmm. So we ended up just putting it on sticks on the floor. Um, and we also wanted to get the pills in the shot, and then the desaturated clothes were really good. In hindsight, too, I think that, I mean, this is probably true of everything just because of a lack of planning, but there's a lot of clutteredness to the shot where we would probably have preferred, you know, for the, the fundamental storyline themes, if you will, to be a little bit more contained. Like the mirror and the pills together, we're, we're definitely trying to focus on those. But with the the clothing, and then you kind of have the pill in the back, and some extra clutter, um, it can be a little distracting. We did have a closer shot mm -hmm. with just the pills and and you, mm -hmm. but because of the framing yep. um, and the position, the slant of the mirror, it the it was super awkward because the pills were were all the way up here, and your face was down here, <laughs> right. and it was just you were like, like weird. Back and forth. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Oh, do you want to talk a little bit about how we, we had the idea of like the pills above? Yeah, so in in film theory, when you're uh, when you're trying to imply something as power over someone, you generally put it above, whether that's from uh, the subjective point of view or a more objective point of view like right. this. So that's kind of what that was a happy accident that right. we noticed. On the <laughs> yeah, we noticed that. Yep. Exactly. There were a couple happy accidents that uh, moving forward, right. which we'll point out probably. Mm -hmm. So he looks up at the pills. We were going for sorry for all the pausing. Um, That's kind of the point. But of this. it is the point. Of this. <laughs> we were going for a very non-linear. Right. Well, it's not exactly linear. So everything happens in order, but we cut around and stuff, things like that. Yeah. So, the progression of it doesn't ultimately really matter as mm -hmm. to what happens when in in between the opening shot and the final shot. Yeah, it's as more of a feeling. Exactly. Yeah, it's like um, it's like a progression of someone's experience, um, but it, it ultimately it's just that final shot and the opening shot are really what matters. Everything that happens in between yep. can be mixed around and muddled. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I like it. I like the shot too. It kind of reminds me of like the Weeping Angels. It's cool. Uh, remind me of the Weeping Angels. Mm -hmm. What was that? Yeah, yeah. This shot reminds me of kind of the weep, like a Weeping Angel. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I thought you were referring to something. Oh no, yeah. This, before, but yeah. yeah, you're right. Good shot. So that shot represents him trying to take power over the pills. Yeah, it doesn't really work. <laughs> I kind of like the juxtaposition between those two, like. You know, he, he thinks he has power over them, and then all of a sudden he's struggling, struggling with them. Oh, yeah, yeah, struggling yeah, yeah. against yeah. them. I like it. Yeah. It's good. Uh, we were kind of going for a walking Phoenix <laughs> Joker type of, type right. of beat here. It's good. Which is, it's so funny. 
Uh, it's such an awkward. I the mean, the drop is slightly yeah. awkward. We were running out of time. Yes. Um, and we knew that we wouldn't, if we wanted to finish it, in a reasonable time, we'd have to keep going. But I, I do like when you drop it. You hit your head on the, just slightly. It's just. It's subtle. introducing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be touched on later. It's so There's, so in, so, so intentions. <laughs> <laughs> so you're exactly right. The, the drop was extremely awkward, and in hindsight, it's probably my least bit of acting, least favorite bit of acting here. We might have been able to get around it by doing like a close close up. Yeah, we, we were lazy, but yeah, we, we just ran out of time. Yeah, no, that's a better way to say it. Yeah, yeah. we really? weren't lazy. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. Probably hovered there a little too long. But. I I think it's great. Uh, mm -hmm. go away. There we go. Mm. So, I have something that I was going to talk about. Um, when we were shooting this, I had him look up on the action during both shots, both the reverse and the the main. But when I when I was editing it, the message or the idea that it was a different self in the mirror didn't come across when I had them both looking up at the same time, or when I actually when I had cut on the action of, of the main looking up. And so I kind of made an awkward editing decision right here. Generally you want to cut on the action, so like when someone looks up, but I made the decision not to, to really sell that it was mm. something different in the mirror. And here again, it was interesting for both for just acting reasons too. Is because I think I was making a different face, you know, from the, the one that we don't see. But a non astute viewer could definitely still think that it's yeah. just the same yeah. person looking in the mirror. <clears throat> but I don't know. Maybe maybe in future we can. Well, I I I didn't have anyone that I talked to right. think that it was a different. Okay, that's good. So I was I was a bit concerned about that as well, right. but it didn't seem to be an issue. So cool. that's what happens when you trust your audience. <laughs> People are smarter than us. Ooh, that is with, with that <laughs> is what we were talking about earlier. See, all planned out. <laughs> definitely planned out. This was the the weird. I would say this is probably the funniest shot to shoot because yeah. we. Well, there's actually one that's later that's obviously a little bit funnier to watch, but this one was funny because. I sometimes would miss the wall. I sometimes would flinch. I sometimes Before would overreact. Hit the wall. I was trying yeah. to act while hitting the wall, and I think this is funny because this was like one of the last shots we did, and I was just accepting the fact that I, <laughs> this is what the character is doing too. He's yep. just kind of like, okay, yep. Yeah, and this one. Go ahead. All of the all of the the painful shots took the most time to get right, which is really funny because by the end of it, because they were all all like to his head and stuff, and you'll see later on what we're talking about <laughs> yeah. but it's so funny because by the end of it he was just he was not having it he was like kind of dazed and stumbling yeah. around and stuff i don't think he got a concussion but i don't think so we're still trying to figure that out figure yeah out. it's pretty yeah it looks mild but when you do it 40 times or well, no, <laughs> you're a bunch it hurts yep all right he sniffs the wall like joe biden That's a bit of an awkward shot, just framing wise, but mm, it's well, fine because it cuts one. to this one, which is really cool. Oof, that's so good. You can see the ribs. Oh, yeah. The texture. <laughs> <laughs> Again, a little bit of awkward acting there, the sitting down to that position. It didn't really flow with with the kind of awkwardness of putting the shirt on, but it's okay. This you want to talk about this before we get into it? Yeah, I mean, I think this probably goes back to like what the theme of the short film is, and. That answer is we have kind of an idea, but not really. I think that it was a bunch of feelings and moods that we wanted to kind of portray in retrospect to a couple of different ideas, which is like the pill bottle and dependence mm -hmm. on the pill bottle. But it it kind of is interesting because frustration, loneliness, you know, weakness, kind of like he's clearly not a coordinated guy. I think an inner self hate. Inner self hate. Well, that's definitely. I think that's definitely what this scene yeah. is mostly about, yeah. too, is that he is, sees himself as this weak person, which he is. Mm -hmm. He's 
kind of pitiful, you know, person who is dominated by this thing. But then also within himself, he identifies that and he can judge that and he, he is sad, like actually sad about that and he's frustrated at himself. And this, I think, is kind of a twofold thing where he's, he's yelling at that part of himself that is judging him, but he's also yelling at himself. At himself yeah. And he's like, you know, this is, you know, why am I like this? This is frustrating. You want to talk a little bit about why the sound and the, dia- the lack of dialogue is the way that it is? Well, we didn't want to take away from the mood by introducing dialogue. Mm-hmm. Um, we had an alternate version in our heads where the mirror was talking to him, but... Yeah, it was weird. That, we, one, it would have taken too long. Um, <laughs> we did not have time. Yeah, the audio wouldn't have been the best. And we, overall, looking back, we we think it's better without dialogue. Mm-hmm. So, um, and the silent scream. We had an idea that we didn't really explore where he was um, taking care of a sick mother or something. Yeah. Um, we didn't really go into that mm-hmm. in uh, execution. And so, but that was, that was kind of the thing that... Um, inspired the silent scream i think so too yeah but then it we just we, we just went, with went with it yeah and i think i think ultimately that's what this short film really shows is that a couple of things a lack of time mm. a lack of like intentional writing and this is you know some cool themes that we wanted to look at and i think that's what this product yeah this product ends up. i think if you if you pick something and just go with that mm-hmm. you know it doesn't have to be perfect it's it's obviously not (laughs) Uh, but the problem comes in when you are trying to do too many things right and so i think that's where we succeeded Mm -hmm. is picking something uh picking like a couple ideas that we were striving for and uh kind of a visual style like to go along with it and just hard focusing on that it was good for good first project yeah project project (laughs) many more to come many more to come hopefully Unless he gets busy and goes off. <laughs> Don't say that. So, all right. Mm. It's powerful. And then the... I, that's my favorite yeah. sequence, I yep. think, of the, of the film. This guy's a really good actor. I don't know where we... <laughs> I don't know where we got not. this guy. I'm just sad. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> no, you're not. It was funny because we would do this shot and then I would just start bursting out <laughs> laughing and it was just really funny I, yeah because i thought i felt really silly <laughs> the whole time. but uh yeah it's a fun shot kind of hurt <laughs> it's flexing like everything in my yeah. face i'm shaking it's good it's a good shot yeah i don't really know what else to say about that one yeah it was pretty self kind of yeah he just angry at himself and we we left the shirt off on the mirror Guy. So really, like, if you didn't know now, right now you know. Now you know it's two guy. different people, yeah. exactly. Because yeah. there, there wasn't really anything else behind that other than trying to differentiate uh, the the characters. In retrospect, we could say something like, "Oh, he feels more exposed by this person," but no, no, no it's no. not no. true at all. We're not, we're not that pretentious. <laughs> we're not that pretentious. <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing. So, is there anything you want? To- Talk. I, there's something I want to talk about, but is there anything you want to? Let's let's let's. I want to hear what you have to say, and then I'll watch the scene, and then we can talk about kind of what I had to say. Let's just watch the scene. Okay. okay. So the main thing that we came away with in pre-planning was we wanted it to be depressing and I don't know why it's not working. There you go. Just go back. Yeah, ten seconds. Um, we wanted it to be sad, lonely, and depressing, but we wanted the ending to be somewhat uplifting and uh, like he's kind of deciding, making the conscious choice to not let his patheticness. And his loneliness and his depression get the best of him and i don't think it was communicated well enough uh visually maybe if we'd had like a reverse shot right. on his face or if he'd like you brought this up if you'd thrown the pill bottles away yeah that might have been because he does he walks out of the room with with, with the, the pills, pills in his yeah. hand yeah 
and it could th this end scene could be seen as like a, re a denial of that mm -hmm. self, you know, judgment. Yeah. And he's like looking at the mirror. Which that's that's why we had him look at the mirror. We were trying to get that across. It's a bit of an awkward frame. Yeah. Um, it's also interesting because whenever you tell somebody that there's in important information on one side of the screen, they often are looking at the other side, mm -hmm. and there's nothing intentional about that side. Like we have that painting that's in my room. Um, and we were pretty clear about moving things around, but we didn't move that. So it's it's kind of confusing where if we had an, a little bit more thought going into, I don't know. It's Set just, design. A yeah. Because this was, this was actually the last shot right. that we did. And so we were, I was tired, he was tired, I needed <laughs> to get home. Um, yeah, I was late. Yeah. So, and then this, this light over to the side should have been dimmer. Right. It's a little bright. It's and I think bright. that's what I'm saying is you have it all that visual yeah. information. You're just kind of, you know, pulled to that side. Yep. Yep. Also, I think that that is the, the shadow of the painting. The paint. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, do you want to talk a little about how we had originally done a jump cut, and that was really awkward? Yeah. Uh, so further back. When when he is doing that to himself, when he's slapping himself, mm. um, he. So we we had a kind of a dolly type movement. It was just a handheld push in where we pushed in and then when, when he started slapping, we, we cut back out to the wider shot. Um, but it was extremely jarring. Uh, we thought it would be cool. It, it looked funny. Cool. It was, yeah, it was it funny. It really was, it was funny. It was, <laughs> and it kind of countered some of the thing. Just like zoom in really dramatically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was funny. It was really funny. Oh man. This was funny too, because we shot that, the hitting of the head many times. Yep. I was, <laughs> I was pretty dizzy at the end of that. <laughs> oh, but I, it was bad because if I went halfway on it, it didn't look convincing. <laughs> yep. yep. Um, yeah. There were other themes that we wanted to talk about too. I, I know you talked about throwing away the pill bottle, um, but the idea, and you maybe you've already commented on this, but like readying himself to face, you know, I did not do a good job of physically acting that and like moving, like straightening himself, preparing himself to go out into whatever his day is or whatever. I don't think it was a bad job. I'd, we didn't capture it visually is the problem. Yeah. Um, so if we'd had a reverse on your face, which we could have easily done if we just like opened the door and stood there. Right. Um, camera. That would have been probably a smart idea too because yeah. it would have given kind of context to every area in the room that we had already explored. Mm. Um, that would actually have probably been a good idea. But you learn and grow and you do it next time. Right. And you don't always have two hours to, or two and a half hours to, <laughs> to do a short film. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's good. So that's basically the end of it. We, yeah. we also have, we have another shot of him waking up, which uh, I was not sure about including, but I did just because, uh, just to make it a little longer. Just, and the, the idea of that was that he was going to, moving forward, possess his own life. And not let life happen to him, but he was going to happen to life. Um, the problem is, it's the same exact shot as the beginning shot. Right, it's not very helpful. It's, yeah, it's just, it would have been better if it was maybe a little brighter. And if he, like, I don't know, just acted a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. But we didn't, we didn't think about that mm -hmm. on the day. So, Yeah, I think ultimately... We didn't think about that is a great definition yep. <laughs> yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man, so cool. maybe we should have. It was very much like a discussion that just turned into yep. a film. And as we were, you know, everything we did was a discussion. And we were just like, oh, let's figure this out. Let's do this. And it was very fluid and very natural in that way. Mm -hmm. But I think also we, the film itself suffers a little bit from the, the lack of some preparation. At the same time, we were, we were approaching it as um, an experiment. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It was our first time working together. Definitely. So we were we were taking it as a learning experience. Um, we were using it as a chance to practice mm -hmm. both acting, producing, and just all of it. So in that sense, it was extremely successful. Um, I agree. We worked together really well, I and so. we're going to make some more stuff in the future. Yeah, I hate working with you. It's the worst. Yeah, you're crazy, terrible guy. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun, and it was it really was just a a good jumping off point. Um, I think we also learned a lot about how we work together mm -hmm. and kind of the way we, we think about film. Um, I don't bring a whole lot to the table other than the fact that I like movies. Um, and that's, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like movies. He, does, he hates them. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, you love movies, but you also have some more formal training. You have some good, great eye behind the camera and you, you can control a frame very well. I just, I haven't watched as many movies. He's Which watched is, a lot of movies. 
A lot of really good movies. Yeah, whatever. Not, and a lot of really bad movies. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of really bad movies, too. So, yeah, this he's a... He's an extremely valuable resource, a very talented oh, actor, oh. and a, a very close friend. So, it's happy to work with him. Get job offers, huh? Somebody get a lot of job offers. Yeah, I sent it to one of my <laughs> filmmaker buddies, and he's like, he's a he's a good actor. And so I was like, I'm not going to give him your number because right, then if I'll I just do, never work with then you. we'll never work together. <laughs> so. It was so much fun. Yeah, looking forward to the next project. Also, the n- name. Did we have any? We didn't talk about the name no, at all. That was no. just. We, there was no thought process. No, I was so, I was <laughs> driving home and I saw the, the text in the mirror. It said images right. in the mirror are closer than a mirror. Wait, we have a mirror? I was like, whoa, <laughs> let's use that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Right. So I I love that the film could be taken as like, man, there's so much deep thought process, but it was mostly just yep. surface level yep. fun stuff. So. Yep. If you want to see the uh, the full version, unedited, unpaused, then uh, it'll be live on Crescent Moon Movies right when this is uh, uploaded. Mm-hmm. The link will be in the description. There will both be a link to the channel and a link to the video itself. So uh, subscribe, watch the video, like, comment. and Or uh, dislike. No, please don't do that. You can dislike no, too. No, please don't. As long as you tell us why you dislike that. That'll hurt my feelings. We would greatly appreciate that. But yes, do, do leave, do leave um, comments criticisms constructive criticisms yes uh, ideas yeah ideas are great you want yeah thanks for watching everybody we hope to be back in the future we may might do more of these hopefully back to the future back to the future good movie (laughs) (laughs) yeah we hope to do do more films maybe do more of these Mm. um grow in our filmmaking and uh grow in our friendship as well yeah so thanks so much peace